While in Ghoul Awakening, the crows you create will apparently chase players infinite distances. Here we go, awaken. Now you better get running. Oh, it's chasing, it's chasing. Ah, uh, he got hit. We need more speed. Now with the life fruit equipped, oh, it's trying to reach. And it despawned. That one was false. I've gathered a hundred of the craziest blocks fruits experiments. Like how you can stand on magma with the magma fruit without taking any damage. Yeah, this one's true. Number three, there is supposed to be a hidden area you can get through over here to get to the beautiful pirate battle arena. And just like every game ever, there's a secret behind this waterfall. Hi. And it's only in the top left. But if we come through here, this is the underneath of the entire Amazon island. We're basically just cheating at this point. But if we come over here, beautiful pirate domain. This one is true. And we can like do some cheeky teleport and so we're inside. And the funny thing is, I don't even know how to get into this place yeah. legit. For the next one, we are testing the damage of Awakened Magma, which is doing massive damage in one hit. 8.6k, that could have done even more as well. But there is supposed to be a fruit even stronger than this. And it's probably not what you would expect. So if we come into here and we unstore the bomb fruit, ah, bro, why is she attacking? Chill. And we eat the bomb fruit. This fruit is supposed to have better single target damage than this, but then it's like, I've only got 23 mastery. So is this actually true? Let's see. Goodbye, Kilo Admiral. Boom. 4.5k? Wait, hang on a second. That actually seems like a lot. 3.2k. That one's unconfirmed. Because I haven't got all of bombs like super OP and moves, maybe this one here does like more damage than magma. Now with this green micro chip I've just bought from this guy, we can take this all the way over to up there. And then we come inside of here. We can do this lab battle against order. However, we need to purposely lose. Because supposedly I can just like walk back through this door, even if I die. So order, hit me with your strongest boulders. Yes, yes. It hurts. The first time I've ever wanted to lose this raid. Oda, you're doing a terrible job at taking me down. Like, hit me. I'm literally just stood here. Hit me. Yes, perfect. Oh, he's throwing all the boulders now. I'm finished. I'm done for. Huge. Keep going. Oh, he's comboing me, which is exactly what we need. Yes, boulder, hit me. How am I alive? Yes. Okay, there we go. Now, I should just be able to come over here, do a little one of these things. And I'm in. Okay, order, you're finished now. Oh, wait, wait. Can I not damage him? Oh, I see. So you can come back in and you can try and fight order. But yep, he only hits you and you can't hit him. All right, I'm out of here. I'm done. Get me out. Now I've got the revive devil fruit. And if I die holding a fruit, I should turn into a skeleton. But will I lose my fruit? Or will I just become a spooky skeleton and like keep everything that I'm holding? Let's see. And I am not spooky and I don't have a fruit. Oh, so I think I need to get that resurrection move that has 110 mastery requirement. Now, I might not have the mastery on revive, but this test dummy over here does. So here, take this kilo fruit and you're going to sacrifice your life for the cause. Oh, on the way, he actually keeps the fruit. He's lost all of his skin on his body. The skeleton mode is actually hilarious. So that one is actually true. For the next one, we all know that the control fruit can be used to pick things up. So if I go like this, oh, diamond, you got in the way. If I go like this, I can pick up this entire giant tree and then throw it. But can we use the control fruit to pick up a devil fruit from the floor and basically like yoink it and send it into space? Oh, look at that. A perfectly convenient smoke fruit has appeared underneath a tree. Levitate. Wait, hang on. That was just a rock. Maybe I gotta get it perfect. Where'd it go? What? It disappeared. Wait, no way. Did I like send it to the moon by accident? Well, that fruit's gone now. But since it didn't let me pick it up to begin with, I think everybody was just lying to me on that one. For number eight, is it possible to hit somebody from across the entire first sea with the poor devil fruit? The goal is that pixel all the way over there. Here we go. Oh, it's moving. It's literally already a tiny pixel for me now. Wow, that was totally real and not faked at all. <laughs> well, the poor fruit's poor might not be infinite, but what about the string fruit's overheated sniper move? Luckily for me, I've got a guy with RGB on over there, so this should be able to hit. We're pretty far distance away. Let's see. It's got to be pixel perfect. Overheated sniper. Boom! Oh my god, I hit him from there? Wait, how far can I go? Hold on, we're going even further. This might have longer range than the poor fruit, actually. We're going from all the way over here. It's basically impossible to see where he is. And I think if I do this... Bonk. That is just not where I aimed at. Here we go. Perfect accuracy. This is pixel perfect. Did that one hit? I don't think that one did, but how about from about here? Oh my, wait. That range is insane. It's not like the entire sea, but this is like really far. Supposedly you can use this electric tackle move and if you use it into a training chair, you'll be in a swimming position, which doesn't really make sense, but let's try it. Bonk. Oh, I did it for like half a second, but I didn't do it permanently. Maybe I need to change the timing a little bit. What if I stomp into the chair? Absolutely nothing. Okay, here we go. Tackle. Yep, we just lay down for a little bit and then we stand back up. So this experiment is unconfirmed. You can use the brand new flamingo ride from the love fruit to pick up NPCs. So gorilla, you're mine. <laughs> I've just got... <laughs> He's just on the back of the flamingo with me. What if I just drop him into the ocean? 
he is completely fine. And then next, what if you use Flamingo Ride to try and pick up bosses? It seems like that one just does not work. Unless I didn't get the angle right. Yep, this one does not work. I'm now in the flame raid, but I think if I... Yep, there it is over there. That's the entire third C. I'm just leaving this raid, <laughs> and I'm gonna try and get all the way to the third C. So we're gonna test and see if we can just like... Oh, whoops. Eh. Go up. Go up. Well, we're going to be testing to see if we can actually make it all the way over there. I've got 12 minutes on the timer, and then I should probably be sent back. So far, so good. We're not hit by a barrier or anything. We're probably a little over halfway now. Maybe. I mean, there's still just absolute specks in the distance, but it seems like we're getting closer. I might just be hallucinating, though. I'm not 100% sure. With six and a half minutes left, we've made it. <laughs> you can actually just straight up leave a raid if you want to. So this is where all those people went in those Buddha raids. And I've just got a timer at the top of my screen now. So, like, what happens after this timer goes down? Down. Do I just get teleported to the end? Well, I guess we're on a time limit for the rest of these experiments. However, what this actually has done is it's made it so I can't use observation, like at all. And I can't take portals either, so I've been like mega nerfed. Well, I guess for the next challenge, we are just gonna have to go the good old fashioned way. Number 13 might not even be possible because of this timer restriction, but if we can change our fruit, which means we can head over to our boat, and there we go, we've bought a brigade. If we set up our control area, and then we've got to levitate this right as we sit in the chair. I missed. We gotta. Oh. There we go. Supposedly we can fly forever. I just gotta get the angle right, I think. Oop. So can I just like fly forever and ever? Wait, what? Let's go find the One Piece. This is actually how Luffy's meant to find the One Piece. Whoops. I'm gonna drown because I can't jump. Wait, did it work? Where's the ship gone? We'll try again. I'm almost convinced that this does work. Am I just like not doing it right? This is good. This is good. I've got a floating boat. Yeet! No, it didn't work. Oh, wait, before I even get this to work, we're going to find out what happens after spending all this time outside the raid. What's going to happen to me? And raid failed. I got 120 fragments, though. Let's go. <laughs> Big money. I'm going to try doing this aiming directly upwards. And if this doesn't work, then I don't know. I'm probably just doing something wrong. Why is it just falling like that? This one's unconfirmed because I just can't seem to get myself to float. I keep like I'm in the boat and then we yeet it. And now I should just fly forever. But I can definitely hear myself falling. Yep, that was definitely not forever. So that one is unconfirmed. This fruit here is supposed to be the destroyer of eardrums. And it's all due to what we're testing right now. So if I eat the fruit, I need to get spring leap. So I need to get 75 mastery very fast. And with the mastery rolling in, this should be enough for spring leap. Yep, we've got everything we need. And then if we come across here, we have to bounce against the wall. Aim this perfectly. I did not aim that perfectly. Here we go. Also misclicked. And there it is. It's so loud. Who thought this was a good idea? And more importantly, who found this out? This one is true. Make it stop. Oh, is Buddha V1 faster than Buddha V2? The goal is all the way at Turtle. We're starting from all the way over here. Are you ready to get smoked, big boy? Yeah, I got a head start. Let's go. I'm so quick. I'm like Lightning McQueen. Oh, look, I can run backwards and I'm running faster than this guy. Wait, is it actually like even? Hold on. If I like, I think it's perfectly even. Or is he like catching me slightly? Come on. I'm so close. I could do this. This is my victory. This is my victory. Doink, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. Boom. Easy win. I think though Buddha V1 and V2 both have the exact same speed. Now, you might not know, but if you want to waste your time, you can come over here and talk to Aaron, and he will play you the entire Indra cutscene again when he uses his, like, cool dark blade and stuff. But if you reset while watching this, apparently it completely breaks the game when you come back in from outside of this cutscene. And, like, this cutscene is really loud. Wow, this is so epic and cool. Wow, that was a close slash. It's almost like I've seen this before. No, Mr. Red Guy, you can win. Don't let Indra beat you. Oh, well, he's dead. Okay, cool. He won the 1v1. More importantly, though, my game should be broken. Like, completely broken. Yep, so look where I am. I'm nowhere to be seen. But actually, if you peek over there, I'm over here. I'm like a security camera. This is crazy. I can like peek around the corner. Hey, this is so messed up. It's like I'm this NPC. POV, you are NPC in blocks, folks. This is like exactly what they see all day, every day for 24 hours. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, I'm finally back. What's happened to me? I'm a noob. Wait, where'd my bacon hair go? I want that back. The NPC took over in me or something. Next up, supposedly you can use awakened Buddha moves in unawakened Buddha. So if I press retribution dash, nothing happened. Yep, literally nothing is happening. Okay, yep, that one is not true. Next up, if a portal user stands still when they use their X ability, they should be completely invisible and undetectable. So go invisible. Okay, he's in his portal form. And then he's, um, so he's definitely very much visible. <laughs> right now, if he doesn't move, then he just shouldn't be here. Yep. How is he? What? He's just there. What is going on? If this works properly this time. Yep, he's just nowhere to be seen. And he's just like stood here right now watching me. It's kind of spooky. It's like he's a ghost. I think he comes back after the cooldowns. I hope. But this bug has definitely got to be fixed. It's a bit OP. Even with observation on, I can't see him. And he hasn't left the server either. So this is crazy. What? There we go. 
<laughs> he's finally back. I swear that took like two minutes longer than it was actually supposed to last. That was crazy, but also true. It's time for the ultimate dragon race. You're going down, buddy. Look at my little wings. You're not ready. Go. I'm fast. I'm too quick. Wait, we might actually be neck and neck. I'm getting caught on his hitbox. Come on. Fly, little wings. Fly. I think it's, yes, yeah, just a bit slower. And he's like multiple times my size. So I wasn't even close. Damn it, man. I thought I could finally win a race legit. But the bigger dragon form is indeed faster than the smaller dragon form. Number 20. Can you walk on lava with the ice fruit? No, you cannot. Ouch. Can you ice skate on lava with the ice fruit though? No, you are. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't do that either. Number 21. We are using this crusty fruit here because apparently this fruit takes more damage in water than any other fruit. So if we jump in, oh, we are dying fast. Yeah, you wouldn't even be able to react to that. And then if we eat the spin fruit, yep, definitely takes way longer. I could easily get out of this water if I wanted to, but I fancy to swim. That one is true. For the next one, if you use the chop fruit while going into a chair like this, it should break your limbs forever. You should not be like normal now. Oh, was the timing messed up? Or does this one not work anymore? Nice, nice. I mean, this one seems like it should work, but I guess it really depends on the timing of when you hit the chair. Nope, that one didn't work either. I have no idea if this one's actually true or false because you could just need like a literal perfect timing. If you combine the shark race with the Buddha fruit and the lay, you can supposedly become invincible, but it apparently also only works if you're in V4. Okay, if I awaken, I've got my lay, so I should go even faster. Now hit me. I should be unstoppable. Oh, I just died. <laughs> that one is definitely not true. For the next one, if you have the Phoenix Fruit equipped and you sit in a boat while using your Blue Flames ability, it should be in use permanently. So I just need to get the timing right. Why is my ship making so much noise? So ship, can you not? Relax. Okay, Blue Flames. And then we walk into the seat. And if I stand up, it's not working anymore. Huh. So this one is not true. Wait, I got to try one final thing. Maybe it's based on awakening. So I just got to sneak into the basement. And if we unawaken the X, because awakening and unawakening are two completely different things. How about now, boat? It's still making a ton of noise. I need a new boat. Okay, so we come over here. Regeneration flames. Sit in the chair. Oh my god. I've got infinite power. Wait, can I stack this? And does it heal me? It's hard to tell if it heals me. I'll test after I've stacked it a few more times. Okay, if I use it again and then sit in the chair. I've got it double stacked. This is insane. I'll use it again. <laughs> after using it a few times, I'm like a glow stick. But does it heal me? Hit me, bandit. Wait, what? I'm being healed. Wait, this is OP. I actually can't die. I've got three regeneration flames on at once. Yeah, good luck trying to kill me me, Raider. I'm invincible now. And I don't actually know how do I get this off me. Make it stop. What is this? <laughs> What's wrong with me? I look like I'm about to explode. Next, we are testing to see if CB spawn more frequently when you don't have any hacky activated. So if I sit here in the sea, this should be prime sea beast territory. And if I start a timer going, now we just need to see how long it takes for one to spawn. And I've got no hacky at all on right now. That took literally about 30 seconds for a sea beast to spawn. Could this one actually be true? I'm genuinely curious. And since I've got the phoenix fruit on, there is literally no way I'm losing to this sea beast right now. And there we go. That sea beast is defeated. This time, we're going to try it out just with Haki on. I'm also in Race Awakening, so maybe that'll make it even slower. Now we just sit here with every single bit of Haki activated, and this will be a great test to see if this one's faster or if it takes longer. Okay, there we go. That one took like way longer, maybe like five or six minutes with Haki active. But honestly, I might have just got incredibly lucky on the first one. I'm not 100% sure if that's actually true. So this one is still like unconfirmed. Number 26, does the Dark Fruit do less damage in the day? It's currently nighttime, so if I eat this and we find an unsuspecting NPC, let's hit him with these dark rocks. Factory staff, I'm sorry. Boom! 3,068. Now we just gotta wait until daytime. It's daytime, scientist. Take this! Wait, I think I missed one. Unless it literally does 600 damage less. Okay, wait. Any more scientists? Yep, yeah, this guy over here will be perfect. Here we go. Dark rocks. I missed so many. Attempt number three. 3,068. I just can't tell if that's because I missed, like, does it do more if I direct impact? Or was there, like, an actual damage drop off there? That's one of the top 10 mysteries science still can't answer. But next up, we're gonna create an infinite loop. And that's using this portal fruit right here. If we find an enemy with health, like this guy over here. And then we look up to a portal like that. It should be infinite. Why are you not infinitely falling? Okay, wait, I've got a new idea. I think I know how to make it go infinite. So my main problem right now is they're trying to attack me. So what if I go like this and then I go above my portal and I hold a move? Yeah, it is infinite. I can have enemies going through that infinitely. This one is true. Number 28, Kilo is the largest fruit you can hold in your hand. I am genuinely curious if this is true. So I've got a Kilo fruit here. That is one chunky boy. Okay, so what about dragon? It has like horns and wings and stuff. So surely this one's even bigger, right? And there's a dragon fruit. Like it's got its devious smile. The dragon fruit's tiny. The Kilo fruit's huge. It's not even <laughs> close. Yep, I definitely think the Kilo fruit is the biggest in the game. What else could be big? Like the Buddha fruit, because it turns you into literally a ginormous human. Let's see. 
Honestly, Rita doesn't even compare either. The only other thing that could possibly compare, maybe the diamond fruit. That is also literally not even close. The kilo is easily the biggest one. That one's true. Number 29. If you use Black Leg Z move on this whirlpool right here, the game will completely bug. Here we go. Flying kick right in the center. Boom. Nothing happened. Wait, maybe I just did it wrong. Attempt number two. Flying kick. Boom. Nothing happened. Again. We'll try one more time, but this time from the inside of the underwater. We just go like this. And the game should have bugged out, but nothing happened. I can stand on the portal at least, but nothing happens. I have no idea if this one actually works because I keep just flying, kicking, and just sitting on it and doing nothing. I don't know. This one seems like it might not be true. But next up, is it possible to stand on lava if you are literally made out of fire? So we just got to eat this flame fruit. Now we got fire. And wait, it damages me unless I stand still. Wait, does it do that with every fruit? What about ice? So if I stay still while I'm made out of ice, am I just chilling? Oh, I see. So the lava does damage the fire fruit. So the fire fruit is in fact not immune to this. But this next one, if we come to this island with the giant skull in the second sea, and then we go this way, I think we should be able to get to the island where you fight a boss that shouldn't be possible to get to. However, I'm not exactly seeing the island, so this one might not be possible. After sailing for about five minutes, I literally don't see anything that should be Rip Injure's island, because I think that over there is the cursed ship, right? I don't see any islands out here, like anywhere, so this one is false. Number 32, Falcon is supposed to be the fastest bird devil fruit, and I am gonna prove it wrong. No, I'm too quick. I actually just left him in the dust. It was a false start. Here we go. Speed. Oh, I am just infinitely quicker. I could fly backwards. Like, he's not even standing a chat. Oh, I hit a pole. Yeah, I just think this isn't even close. I actually just styled on him. That was easy. So Falcon is, in fact, not the fastest devil fruit, unless it has a movement ability. But the next one, if you've ever awakened the Buddha fruit, you'll know that if you shift, you can run in water. Like, this ocean is apparently just like a, a kid's pool because it only goes up to your legs. However, if you use the unawakened version, do you drown? Yep, your legs don't touch the floor, so you definitely do drown. Get me out of there, get me out of there. The Ice Fruit's Awakened V ability has a shorter stun time than Unawakened. That was honestly pretty fast. So how does the other V compare? Should I come into this basement yet again for like the fifth time? Hello, Awakens expert, Unawaken. And if I come over here and I freeze him again? Yep, that seems like he was an Ice Cube for way longer that time. So this one is in fact true. Number 35, is the Gum Fruit immune to the Rumble Devil Fruit? Just like One Piece. Lightning Beast? This guy's got- wait, isn't he a foul? Falcon? Oh, no. He's immune. Wait, this doesn't seem fair. I can hit him with my strongest attacks and they do nothing. Wait, so what if I use Haki? Literally just zero difference as well. So that one is true. However, is the gum fruit immune to bullets? So if I take out this refined musket and then I go pew. Oh, wait, it actually did nothing. It just bounces off. What if I use Haki? Bonk. Did I just miss? Wait, he's actually immune. So that one is also true. The gum fruit, definitely the protagonist fruit. That's for sure. If you have two people with awakened angel, can you keep a boss permanently stuck on the ground kneeling? Jeremy, <laughs> he can't move. You're supposed to be the spring fruit user and he just can't move. Oh, this is actually OP. Let's go try it on Don's one as well. This could be busted. You could solo every boss in the entire game with just two angel V4s. Don Swan. You can't move. Oh, wait. Was it just a Jeremy diff? Hold on. Oh, he's like breaking free every now and again. Oh, wait. Yeah, if you get the right angle, <laughs> he can't move. That's actually so OP. So that one is true. I'm telling you, this is why awakening into a god is the best awakening form. And since we're here for this next experiment, if we use a move into Don Swan's room, it's supposed to bug you like crazy. But I don't think that one works. What about like flying kick, maybe? Flying kick. I am not bugged, like, at all. So this one's unconfirmed. I don't know if it's, like, a specific type of move you have to use. I've got an idea of a move that could work really well. And it involves this squishy fruit right here. So if I just eat the fruits, and then we go up here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna slingshot into the door. Boom! Yep, absolutely nothing happened. Number 39, if you use the magma floor on the magma, you don't take any damage. Okay, this one makes sense, because, I mean, if you can be made out of magma and not be hurt by it anyway, it makes sense that the floor doesn't hurt you either. So basically, what I am right now is I'm just magma squared. While being in gear second, I'm quickly changing and eating the chop fruit. Do these smaller parts of you, buddy, keep the pink skin color and the smoke? We just need to find some enemies with a sword. Now that I'm the chop man, can they hit me and will my little pieces be... Yep, my little pieces of arm are still pink. Oh, that's pretty cool. What if I detach? Bonk. Yeah, they're also pink as well. So this one is true. And number 41, and if you reset, do you keep the pink particles? No, you do not. Supposedly for this next one, if you do the entire raid with a fruit that you're not actually going to awaken, and then eat the fruit at the very end, you can then awaken that fruit. I was under the impression that you just had to use the fruit from the very beginning to even have a chance to awaken it, right? Alright, so the raid is nearly complete. Now I just gotta find a flame fruit, which I think I have a few of. Yep, seven on store. And now if we eat this fruit and complete the raid, we should be able to go to the awakening screen. 
screen. At least I think so. There we go. The raid's complete. Am I being sent to the space? I've made it. So what happens here? I've already told you everything I know. So you can actually just eat a fruit mid raid and then boom, you've got it. And instead, number 43, if you teleport to the raid without putting the password in, can you actually do the raid? Let's see. Loading map. It actually works. Okay. And I'm in. I don't want to be here though. So take me back. If you subscribe to Cooper Cool, you're guaranteed to get mythical fruits. See, watch this. Boom. We got a dragon fruit. No way. See, that one's actually true. So you should subscribe and help me speed run to 400k. Apparently for this one, there's a secret area you can hide through. Yep, right here, which takes you underneath the great tree. <laughs> wow, they really could have just like put a rock here and fixed this entire problem. <laughs> the next one is that these barrier stairs can apparently go infinitely. It would make sense because they are disappearing behind us. So can we just like go forever? This could be the ultimate way to travel in blocks, folks. It seems to just be going forever. It's a stairway to heaven. This should have actually been how you got race V4. Would have been great if you had to use the barrier stairs to get to where you need to go. But I think this one's probably true. You could literally keep on using this forever. You could probably leave the stratosphere with these stairs. This is actually crazy. Number 46. If you come over to this suspicious looking bacon and you talk to him, this guy will remove your fruit for 50k. So I gotta get the perfect timing to get this down. There we go. Remove my fruit. There we go. I no longer have a devil fruit. <laughs> and I'm just walking around doing the dough swing. I'm like a helicopter. I just won't stop swinging. And now I've just got an arm. No matter what I do, if I equip my dark blade, I've just got an arm. This is crazy. Can I combine this with even more abilities? We gotta find out. What happens if we transform into a Buddha while our arm is like this? Oh, wait, it said error. Can I not transform? What if I try and eat the ice fruit like this? Error, stop using your ability first. So you can only use that ability. But this one is true. Now, this boss Bobby is immune to all sword attacks, or at least he's supposed to be. Apparently, my cutlass absolutely destroys him. Let me try a weapon without like any mastery. I mean, he's supposed to be immune to all swords. However, the dark blade is his one true weakness. Does this one actually let you hit him with all of its attacks? But honestly, I'm not even sure why he's even being damaged by like my regular attacks. So that one, I'm unsure. But for this next one, you're supposed to be able to use the kilo fruit to just hover above water like this. That is not hovering. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I swear you're supposed to just like chill above the water. I was straight up swallowing that by the gallon. Yeah, like this. This one is true. You can just chill above the water and not have to worry until you crash land. Supposedly, this move called land mines that allows you to place a ton of mines on the floor can be used on the ocean. I think this is just a massive bait. I'm not gonna lie. Land mines. Yep, they are called land mines for a reason, not sea mines. That one is definitely not true. The boss that is locked behind this door right here, you can apparently get inside here and fight him. If you can do the vision glitch thing. And here he is. Longma. Oh, I see. So you can't actually fight this guy. It's one of those situations where he can attack you. Yep, but you can't hit him. At least I can steal his diamond chest. Number 51 says that if you go straight out into the ocean this way, you'll come across a secret island. However, I'm not seeing anything right now in any direction. Like, am I just blind? Wait, I actually see it, but it only comes out at nighttime. It's like a werewolf. I've been in my boat for about 10 minutes now, and we're getting kind of close. Like, this is way bigger than it was before. Hello, cursed ship. Ah! What the floor is lava challenge. Hey, what? Why? This is the cursed ship. It's not like the lava place. Wait, what if I do this? That doesn't help. I went all that way and I just died. At least I made it. It exists. Supposedly, we can awaken fruits if we manage to glitch through this wall like so. And then we find a box, which is right over there. This should allow us to awaken without having to do a single raid. And apparently, I've entered... What is that? France? This box is France. Is that French? <laughs> That is. And 10 minutes later, now that I'm inside, if I get a fruit like the sand fruit that I've never awakened before, and then if I eat this and I become a sand man, and then we talk to the mysterious entity like a raid ascension. Oh, you cannot talk to this NPC. This one is false. Apparently for this next one, you can create invisible devil fruits. All I gotta do is transform into a leopard, and then we throw this on the ground by just going like this. And there's nowhere to be seen. Oh wait, but if I run over it, I can actually pick it up. So there is a string fruit right there, but nobody can see it until I untransform and it reappears. That one is true. Next up, we are testing exactly what happens if somebody with the revive fruit activates the skeleton ability and resets instead of dying. You see, I think he should just become a reset spooky scary skeleton. Let's see. He just poofed. Nothing happened. Is he a skeleton? No, he's still normal. That one is not true. If I transform into a big boy and then I use overheat, now that I've got some spicy feet, I think we need to come back over here. This is not good. I can't fit through the doorway. Wait, maybe I can do this with the uh, martial arts master instead. And then I change my martial art and then I untransform and I'm now just some big feet. <laughs> this one is so good. Number 56. If you jump on a raid pad right as the raid's about to start, do you get teleported? Am I going in? I am. I'm unsure if this one's actually true or not because it was like, that could have been like perfect timing. And I still have giant feet. Myth number 57. If you transform in Buddha form while already having big feet, do the feet become even bigger? Let's see. <laughs> I look so stupid, but that one is true. I can't believe this actually works. Nobody can stop me. And you know what they say about big feet, big socks. And number 
number 57, supposedly Law's sword has infinite range inside of his control domain. Here we go, room. It's covered both of these enemies. So now I just got to do this injection shot and it's supposed to hit all the way over there. Ooh, hang on a sec. I got to try from even further. We'll go from one side of the room all the way to the other. Okay, he's all the way over there. I'm at the edge of my room. Injection shot. That does have a really long range, but it's definitely not infinite. We know that the control devil fruit can take parts of walls and then has the texture of that part that you take. But what about if you did that with devil fruit powers, like the magma fruit? So now if I grab this, nope, it does not give me a piece of magma. It just gives me a rock. Test on magma floor. Yoink. Okay, that doesn't work either. And also since it might just be magma, let's try ice. Yoink. Okay, that didn't work. Give me that spike. It's definitely just a green rock. But this next one, supposedly, if you awaken with shark while in the ocean, it'll teleport you underneath the entire map. So let's see. Awaken! And? Yeah, no, it definitely just awakened me in the ocean. I'm not underneath the map or anything. This one is false. Supposedly, you can completely break the leopard model if you transform into a chair. I need to get this timing perfect. Here we go. Aha! I've done it! I'm team posing! This is amazing. What's crazy about this is if I press transform again, I've got double leopard synergy. Oh, this is cool. Cool. Number 62, you can eat devil fruits while being transformed as a Buddha. So in my hand here, I've got a tiny puny little string fruit. Eat. Error, disable your transformation work. This one does not work. Number 63, the blizzard fruit's tornado flight knocks away everything in its path and apparently does a lot of damage. But can you use it to knock away a devil fruit? Here we go. And the tree's gone. Yep, that fruit is definitely still there. It's not budging. This move with water kung fu is supposed to have infinite range. So we're going to try and hit this guy all the way down there. This has got to be pixel perfect. Here we go. Deadly shower from the sky. POV rain in blocks fruits. Oh, what? These doors that are usually only broken with Yoru can be broken with the gum fruit. So if I fire a cannon, boom. Um, I can't help but notice that this didn't break. What about in transformation? Smash. This did in fact not work. What about these doors? I guess this makes sense because these are like actual rocks. But this one is not true. Does resetting before dying save your bounty? Hey, come on, pirate millionaire. Oh, that's the damage I'm talking about. Okay, reset. I didn't lose any bounty. Was he too low level? Okay, let's try somebody else. Marine Commodore. This guy's got a hacky on his hands. So like, nice, nice. Hit me one more time. Perfect. Reset. I don't think I lost any... It didn't say I lost any bounty. Am I just like bugged or is this one true? Using Mink Awakening, you can run through walls with its super dash. Can I get through this wall? Super dash. If I jump, it did work. If you jump, you can dash through walls. That's like an insane escape mechanism. And it only seems to work on some walls. What? It's like the walls where the entrance is. I am so confused. How does this work? You can create a mini sun if you get into a boat right as you use Flame's Hellcore move. I don't believe for a second this will work, but then again, the boats are incredibly buggy in this game. So, Hell's Core. Um, I messed up the timing. Now I gotta wait like 20 seconds. I think I've done it. The boat is having an absolute panic attack, but I, if I let go, oh, I've sent it out. Uh, but the boat is also broken now. I want, I'm unsure if it actually works. Number 70, is it possible for somebody to stand on the rocks that you create with the control fruit? So if I just like hold it here and levitate it, can he get up there? Nope, it just like doesn't exist. This is a fake rock. So that one does not work. Supposedly in the water right here in Underwater City is fake. I'll be the judge of that and I'll sacrifice this flame fruit to be proof. Wait, what? I'm Jesus. I can actually just stand on the ocean. This is amazing. Wait, is there literally no ocean? Yep, doesn't look like it. And you can just place the flame fruit down and it's just there. Awaken Phoenix can do damage while standing still. Wait, what? I mean, I'm dropping like flames. Oh my, I am melting this boss. And I don't even have to have the Phoenix like equipped. This is OP. He couldn't do anything. The fastest non-Robux boat is supposedly quicker than the slowest Robux boat. Okay, I've got a pretty nice lead. Yep, you are not keeping up with the power of pay to win. Buying double XP stacks the effect together. So if I buy 15 minutes of double XP, and then if I buy another 15 minutes, please don't just like overlap. This should go up to 30 minutes. Yep, and it does. Woo! Nearly wasted my precious, precious Robux. If I fly through the rings behind this ice castle, do I change color on the spot? We've got blue wings right now. So if we go green, yeah, these are definitely still blue. Yep, literally zero change. And I can't even change anymore. So this one is not true. It's supposed to be possible to drive your boat onto land. So let's see. Is this actually possible? I know one possible way we could do this. Other than that, we're gonna have to make some magic work. We'll buy the brigade. Okay, now we gotta try and drive this thing onto land. If I get enough speed, I might be able to do it. Here goes. I'm gonna aim for that ladder right there as well. Maybe we can like somehow go up the ladder. Here we go. Let's do this. Eh. Absolutely nothing happened. That one does not work. When you use Quake's Sea Quake move, it summons four massive waves from every different direction. Well, what happens if you die while casting the Sea Quake? It's time is perfectly boom. Reset. What happens to the waves? They're looking very normal, 
wall right now. Oh, wait. Oh, the wave's going up. What is happening? Yep, this one is true. The waves do indeed go absolutely crazy. They go all different directions. This is carnage. What happens to a revive user if they turn into a skeleton? Which is going to be courtesy of me. It's skeleton time. Boom, there we go. And then what happens if he turns into a Buddha? Does he become a big skeleton? Is that how it works? It's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> it actually works. Oh, he's absolutely destroying me. Best believe I'm out of here. Giant skeleton Buddha is kind of terrifying. I'm gone. You can get infinite water bubbles with water kung fu by coming over here. And if we use deadly shower as we talk to this guy and we change to shark man. Wait, I mean, I've got like cool water hands, but I can't move. I'm just stuck. This one's like I'm like unsure of, but it looks really cool at least. But this next one, if I just hold space bar with the angel, that's right, kneel before me, I will just float. Oh my God. I'm just like in creative mode, T-posing. This is amazing. Why have I never done this one before? This is insane. And then can I switch to, yeah, I can switch to the flying one. Can I switch back to the other one? Yep. You can't stop me. And I can attack like this as well. Can you attack in the other way? You can, but it's really difficult. This one's like way more useful, although it's a bit slower. For the next one, you're supposed to be able to out heal the water damage using Phoenix's blue flames move. Let's see. Not even a chance. If you die while getting mastery, the amount should bug out. Okay, here we go. She's super weak. Okay, if I die, the rest of the mastery should bug out. So I should have like 2 million. Yep, we're only mastery 58 and we've got 2 million out of 9,700. So this one is true. And on the screen as well, it's shown that we've got to mastery 127 when actually we haven't. So I better try my hardest from now on to not die while fighting something for mastery XP. Supposedly, if you enter the water using the dough fruit by driving off land, you shouldn't take any water damage. Like this, you'll start driving on the ocean. However, if you go into a donut form from midair, you're supposed to take damage in the ocean. Like this. Um, so that one's just completely wrong. Or did I go up from too high? What if it's like height based? So if I try from like here, nope, it just works all the time now. Or maybe it's based on when you equip your devil fruit. So if I wait until the last second, yeah, no, it still works. If I have Mink V4, the pilot helmet, and I transform into a leopard fruit, is it faster than the light fruit? Oh, wow. This is just not even close. Like I can even do my little teleport thing. And that's awakened light as well. This is definitely the fastest way to travel in the entire game. Is the pirate's best ship faster than the marine's best ship? Here we go. Oh, I'm so quick. What? Hold on, that doesn't make sense. So it seems like the marine ship is faster than the pirate ship, but only slightly. Unless I'm literally seeing things. It does seem like it's catching on me though. Okay, it might actually be exactly the same. I'm not 100% sure. This Shanks boss right here can only be found in his little cave here. But what happens if we try and kidnap him and take him out from his cave? So you, you're coming with me. So normally like he's seeing a wall here, but what if I just like, yep, he can't leave. But what if I come in here? And then we portal. Freedom, Shanks. This is freedom. All right, that didn't work. Maybe we try brute force. Get over here, Shanks. All right, boom. That did not work. What if I try doing a portal like this? It actually worked. Wait, he's running free. Now he's going to be an absolute menace on this poor little noob. <laughs> He just two shot that beginner guy. I've brought out a beast into the world. Now, basically, everybody who comes to the jungle to start grinding is just gonna die. So, this is like the ultimate way to kill noobs without ever doing it yourself. This is amazing. Number 89, the amount of bounty you lose to mobs is apparently based on their level. So, if I die to Captain Elephant, I should lose 1875 bounty. Yes lost 1875 bounty. Okay, wait, that could be a coincidence though. I need to find something else. Random Fishman Raider, 1775. So realistically, I should lose 1775 bounty then, right? And... Yep, 1775. That one's actually true. Wow. Even with nothing attached, you can use the new spider highway move to fly straight up into the sky. Let's see. If I click like this and then we do it again, do we go even higher? Oh, it's actually kind of working. Is the new overheated sniper's range longer than the old one? We've got a little target now that we can actually use. And if we fire it, boop. I think that didn't even hit this enemy from there, which makes me think this one's actually shorter range than the previous one. But now we got to test how long the new ultimate goes. Can String's new ultimate hit from here? Uh, yes, it definitely can. I'm not getting any damage numbers, but that definitely could hit. The Love Fruit's best of friendo move can defeat bosses all on its own. Don Swan versus my minion who will win. Go, my friend, go! <laughs> he's actually, wait, he's actually evenly matched. He's destroying him. And... No, he's so low. Go, best friend. Finish him off. Yes, good job. He actually won the 1v1. Next up, we're seeing if the Love Fruit's X Cupid zone has infinite range. So that enemy all the way over there, can I just like throw this over? Whoa. It went further than what? Here we go. We're going we're to test the maximum range of Cupid's zone. Boom. That's how far it goes. That's insane. Not quite infinite, though. Can the Love Fruit's F move pick up fruits? Oh, 
It doesn't seem like it. At least you can't like make it ride on the flamingo with you. The spider fruits F will make you fly higher if you're attached to a building than not a building. So if we go away from this building and we press F, we go about that high. What happens if we go underneath this building and press F? I think that was actually just a tiny bit lower. So that one is not true. Supposedly, Love Fruit's best friend move can't follow you through portal. So let's see if that's actually true. If I summon my best friend right here, there he is. Follow me. We're going through here to Turtle Mansion. He followed through. That one is true. <laughs> Number 97, is possible to fly with the ice skating move. I think if we maybe get some height, we can start flying. Here we go. Lift off. Oh my God, it's working. We're kind of flying. I mean, it's more like falling but slowly. Yeah, you can like float pretty much. I'd say this one's true. If you hit the right angle, you can definitely fly. We all know the Dodono move is pretty quick, but does it become faster if we combine that with Mink's agility skill? Well, there's only one way to find out. That was, you know, pretty quick. Light's definitely much faster and then the Leopard Fruit is even faster. But here we go. Ability skill. Can I go up walls faster or something with it maybe? Nope, I'm, I'm stuck. What? That did absolutely nothing. Number 99. Can you pick up a fruit while in the Mink Super Dash? This could be the sneakiest way to steal fruits from people. It works. Oh, you just gotta God. time it right. So if this guy wants the fruit, here you go, bagel. You can have the fruit. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> I can just steal it from him in light speed. That one is true. And for number 100, this next secret can make any devil fruit disappear. So if I take this dragon fruit right here and I unstore it, using this secret right here, I can make it disappear. See? It's vanished. Wow, such a cool epic experiment. But if you guys want to see me test TikTok hacks, then watch this video right here.